Welcome back Life Crafters. Today, we're delving into the world of time-saving life hacks to supercharge your productivity and make the most of every day. If you've ever felt like there aren't enough hours in a day, you're in the right place. From streamlining your morning routine to optimizing your workday, we've got you covered with these time-saving tips. Let's dive in. The best morning routine can vary from person to person, as different individuals have different preferences and lifestyles. However, there are some common elements that can make a morning routine effective and productive. Here's a general morning routine that many people find beneficial. Wake up early. Try to wake up at a consistent time each morning, ideally giving yourself enough time to start your day without feeling rushed. Hydrate. Begin your day by drinking a glass of water to rehydrate your body after a night of sleep. Exercise. Engage in some form of physical activity, even if it's just a quick workout or a short walk exercise can boost your energy, improve your mood, and increase focus throughout the day. Meditate or practice mindfulness. Take a few minutes to meditate, do deep breathing exercises, or simply sit quietly and clear your mind. This can help reduce stress and set a positive tone for the day. Eat a healthy breakfast. Fuel your body with a nutritious breakfast that includes a mix of proteins, healthy fats, and carbohydrates to provide energy and mental clarity. Plan your day. Take a few minutes to review your schedule, tasks, and priorities for the day. This will help you stay organized and focused on what needs to be accomplished. Avoid screens initially. Try to resist the temptation to check your phone or computer first thing in the morning. Give yourself some screen-free time to be present and mindful. Personal development. Spend some time reading, listening to a podcast, or engaging in any activity that helps with personal growth and development. Prepare for the day. Get dressed and groomed, so you feel ready to take on the day with confidence. Express gratitude. Take a moment to be grateful for what you have in your life. Practicing gratitude can improve overall well-being and perspective. Remember that the best morning routine is one that fits your individual needs, lifestyle, and goals. Experiment with different elements to find what works best for you. Also, be flexible and adaptable. There might be days when your routine needs to change, and that's perfectly fine. The key is to establish a routine that sets a positive tone for the day and allows you to start each morning with intention and purpose. Good time management is essential to your success. Using an effective time planner and master list you can achieve any goal you set your mind to. These are standard time management tools and techniques that you should practice for maximum productivity and good personal organization. Each of them takes a little time to learn and master but pays you back in greater efficiency and effectiveness for the rest of your life. 1. Use a time planner and create a master list. The first time management tool that you need is a time planner that contains everything you need to plan and organize your life. The best time planners, whether loose leaf binders or electronic versions, enable you to plan for the year, the month, the week, and for each day. A good time planner will contain a master list where you can capture every task, goal, or required action as it comes up. This master list then becomes the core of your time planning system. From this master list, you allocate individual tasks to various months, weeks, and days. 2. Work from a list. Every effective executive works from a daily master list. It is the most powerful tool ever discovered for maximum productivity and it's one of the best ways to help achieve your SMART goals. When you create your daily list, you begin by writing down every single task that you intend to complete over the course of the day. The rule is that you will increase your efficiency by 25% on the very first day that you start using a list. This means that you will have two extra hours of productive time in an eight-hour day from the simple act of making a list of everything you have to do before you start work. You can bring order out of chaos faster with a list than with any other time management tool. 3. Organize by priority. 
Once you have a master list for your day's activities, the next step is for you to organize this list in order of priority. Consider using a time management matrix to determine what tasks are truly urgent and important. Once your master list is organized, it becomes a map to guide you from morning to evening in the most effective and efficient way. This guide tells you what you have to do and what is more or less important. You will soon develop the habit of using your list as a blueprint for the day. Remember that the 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto Principle, says that 80% of your results will come from 20% of your efforts. Therefore, the key to maximizing your efficiency is prioritizing the tasks that contribute to the majority of your gains. 4. Time Management Tools and Systems The variety of personal digital assistants PDAs, and computer-based time planner systems available today is absolutely wonderful. No matter what you do, in whatever field, there are digital time management systems that you can tap into or load onto your personal computer to help organize every part of your life. Spending an entire Sunday afternoon in the kitchen might seem like an investment, but we can tell you it's worth the effort. And we have a few tips and tricks to make the process even more enjoyable for first-timers. Let's get started. Here is 7 great tips to master batch cooking. 1. Pick cuisine-neutral ingredients. A good way to approach batch cooking is to ignore recipes and rely on ingredient ratios. For example, you could work with one part protein, one part carb, and one part fresh vegetable. Top those ingredients with a few seasonings and sauces, and you're golden. One place you can let your culinary creativity shine is the toppings. Turn a basic chicken, potato, and quinoa dish into a Mexican salad with fresh salsa, cotija, and a lime wedge. For something more Mediterranean, whip up a balsamic vinaigrette and sprinkle some feta cheese. The options are endless, and it only requires prepping three ingredients. 2. Choose foods that freeze well. Meal prep isn't just setting aside one day of the week to cook. It's also about carefully choosing foods that do well in the freezer. You don't want to batch cook ingredients that go bad in a couple of days that beats the whole purpose of the project. Here's a quick rundown on some foods that can be stored in the freezer. Most fruits freeze well provided you peel and chop them into individual servings. Most vegetables survive the freezer, except cabbage, celery, cucumber, and potatoes. When it comes to household staples, you can freeze milk, bread, and butter with ease. Meat and fish can be frozen. We recommend freezing them in portions, so you can defrost and ly what you need. Fresh herbs, cooked grains, and even whole meals can be frozen and defrosted as required. A quick tip. Be sure to cool your meals completely before freezing portions. Freezing hot dishes might raise your refrigerator's temperature and cause other foods to start defrosting. 3. Marinate your meats in advance. Marinating is an easy and tasty way to enhance flavor, add extra moisture, and tenderize meat before cooking. What's more, a good marinade can help make leaner cuts less dry and tougher pieces of meat more succulent. 4. Make single servings when you can. Even if you're cooking for a small family, making single servings does have its benefits. On busy days when you don't have time to cook, your family can pull something from the freezer, heat it, and dig in. Find recipes made in smaller casserole dishes, so you can shrink the serving to your liking. Examples include oatmeal, soups, and meatloaf. Again, this is by no means a sign to forego big batch cooked meals. They're great for when you know you'll have the whole family at the table and will need a big meal for everyone. 5. Don't give up on convenience foods. Let's make one thing clear. You don't have to make every element of your meal prep from scratch. It's labor-intensive, time-consuming, and will quickly take the fun out of the process. Instead, use convenience foods where you can and where they make the most sense. You'll save yourself a bunch of labor and likely get more meals made because you were wise about how you shopped. 6. Keep your plans simple. 
We've seen meal prep menus with color coding, elaborate calendars, and even bulletin boards. And while everyone rolls differently, this might be taking things too far. Ideally, batch cooking should be simple. Find a few recipes. Make and store the recipes. Use non-recipe dishes throughout the week. Repeat the cycle. But wait, what are non-recipe dishes? Well, if we're to summarize, we'd call them leftover friendly meals. These dishes let you use leftovers like rice, grains, and chicken, among other things, from the rest of your weekly meals. For batch cooking, all you need to do is mix a few recipes and non-recipe dishes. This can help you go strong in the future and sharpen your skills as a new cook. 7. Serve your carbs fresh. You'll want to batch cook the main component of a meal, like the chicken or chili. But leave out the carbs before freezing. Rice or pasta doesn't take long to cook. And they'll taste much better if you serve them fresh. The bottom line. Many people are coming around to the benefits of batch cooking and how it can set you on the path to wholesome, nutritious meals every day. Although the idea of meal prepping may sound intimidating on paper, it's easy once you get used to it. And you can always follow our tips to get started on the right foot. Say goodbye to wasted time during your daily commute or downtime. Maximizing productivity and enjoyment during your commute to work. Commuting to work may seem like a time-consuming task, but with some smart strategies, it can become a valuable time to be productive and clear your mind. Whether you travel by car, train, or subway, we've compiled a list of excellent tips to help you make the most of your long commute, transforming it into a fulfilling part of your day. For commuters driving to work, groove to the music. Create a playlist of your favorite tunes to elevate your mood and reduce stress during the drive. To keep things fresh, make a new playlist over the weekend, adding excitement to your Monday morning. Mentally plan your day. Though you can't physically write a to-do list while driving, you can mentally plan your day and set priorities. Focus on five essential tasks to cut through mental clutter and stay organized. Stay present and reflect positively. Avoid dwelling on work frustrations during the commute home. Instead, stay present and reflect on positive aspects of your day. Recall pleasant interactions, lessons learned, or accomplishments to end the day on a positive note. Dive into audiobooks and podcasts. Transform your commute with captivating audiobooks or inspiring podcasts. Let the story sweep you away, making the drive more enjoyable and educational. Connect with loved ones. Utilize hands-free calls to catch up with family or friends, fostering meaningful connections during your commute. Prepare for work tasks. Use the drive as an opportunity to practice presentations or important conversations, boosting your confidence and preparation. For commuters on public transit, Embrace meditation. Put on headphones and practice meditation using a meditation app or guided sessions. Meditation can enhance your attention span, reduce anxiety, and improve overall emotional well-being. Craft to-do lists. Physically write out your to-do list to clear your mind and keep tasks organized. Consider making a weekly or twice-daily list to stay on track. Dive into reading. Step away from screens and indulge in a good book to unwind and de-stress during your commute. Tackle emails and texts. Utilize commute time to manage emails and texts, breaking tasks into designated time slots to avoid feeling overwhelmed. Learn a new skill. Make the most of your commute by learning something new, like a language, music, creative writing, or nutrition. Find a skill that excites you to make your commute both productive and enjoyable. Regardless of your commuting method, these tips will help you make the most of your travel time, fostering productivity and setting a positive tone for your workday. Share your favorite commute tips in the comments below and enjoy a more fulfilling commute ahead. And there you have it Life Crafters. 
Time-saving life hacks to unlock your productivity potential and make every day count. By implementing these simple yet powerful strategies, you'll free up more time for the things that truly matter to you. Remember, it's all about being intentional with your time and crafting a life that aligns with your values and goals. If you found these tips helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the Life Crafter channel for more life-changing content. Until next time, happy crafting!